here is a CT of an abdomen. The first thing to strike you is the fact that the gallbladder is really big, like maybe it's obstructed. And that has some uh, believability because if you look at some of the intrahepatic bile ducts, they're big enough to be seen uh, on CT as well. You know that these linear things are dilated bile ducts as well. And what pieces the whole story together is that if you look at the pancreas, which is right here, it is non-uniform and irregular uh, in the head region. So if there was a carcinoma obstructing the head of the, uh, the bile duct of the head of the pancreas, it would result in this and in this. And indeed, this is what we do have. We have a carcinoma of the head of the pancreas. And here is the gross specimen. And in most exocrine organs, salivary gland, pancreas, lacrimal gland, you could see an overall general lobulation, which are these little lobules and a little bit of fibrous tissue between them, but they still look like they're organized. And here, you still see lobules here as well. They're just a little pinker or perhaps more hyperemic than usual. And here as well. But look at this part. It's not lobulated at all. And not only is it not lobulated, but it's very poorly defined from the surrounding normal structures. In other words, it's invading it. And if this, for example, was a common bile duct here, you could see that the tumor has grown completely around it and could very well be completely or 100% obstructing it. And uh, this, the microscopic part here will be the easy part. In the last uh, pancreas, I had a hard time diagnosing it as cancer because it was a very subtle change. But we're not going to have that problem here because if you look in this area here, which has a lot less fibrous tissue, which is why it's bluer, uh, and therefore you can, it maintains this lobular configuration, you could pretty much see fairly normal, classic, textbook uh, pancreatic tissue. I don't see any eyelets here, or is this one perhaps? No, actually, I don't really see any good eyelets here at all, but I do see pancreatic lobules. I could see intralobular and interlobular ducts. You could see all of these zymogen granules inside of the acinar cells. Everything that's granular inside of these acini is probably zymogen granules. And uh, if you move just a little bit, however, out to the periphery of this normal pancreas, you could see that there's going to be a uh, fibrotic area around it, which we're starting to get into now. Otherwise, this is still normal pancreas. We have a fibrotic area around it. We have areas of uh, inflammatory cells. We can see these inflammatory cells are around little nerves down here as well. But there should be absolutely no doubt whatsoever what the difference is between these glands of a normal pancreas lobule and these glands of an infiltrating adenocarcinoma. And you can see some other infiltrating glands here. For all the usual reasons uh, this is a great slide because it shows normal glands and malignant glands. First of all, the malignant glands have big, dark, ugly, pleomorphic, hyperchromatic nuclei are growing haphazardly. They are not conforming to this lobular type of growth in which you have little groups of acini. In addition, you can see that they are invading around this little nerve right here as well. And here's a little nerve here as well that has some tumor around it. So even if so, if you see a nerve in its classical, normal t textbook, great-looking nerve, but uh, there happens to be some epithelial cells surrounding the nerve, you know this is cancer because uh, nothing would grow in the nerve sheath except for cancer, and it's usually adenocarcinomas. In addition, look at these dark, irregular cells. And I want to show you one. Oh, here's an abnormal mitosis. That's almost diagnostic of malignancy. And here's another nerve, and perhaps there's some sclerosis around it. Whether you think that this little glandular cluster here is growing directly into the nerve sheath, uh, you can think that it is because I think it is. So if you agree with me, that would make you right, wouldn't it? Uh, thank you very much.
uh, infiltrating adenocarcinoma of the pancreas.